Hi everyone, uh, here we are again and in this video I'm going to show you uh, what is the whole uh, purpose of int main, meaning uh, its return value. So uh, many people automatically write here return zero, but do, do you really understand uh, what uh, this return value is and uh, uh, well, what is it used for? Okay, so uh, there are some interesting uh, questions that we need to answer and uh, we are going to use this video. So, um, when we return something uh, from the function int main, then we simply return it to the operating system itself. And uh, in this video, we are, we are going to show you how to use this return value. And that is by uh, having some other application that will uh, use this application. And uh, for example, I have application A that calls the application B. And now application A wants to see if application B uh, was successful in its work or it uh, collapsed in some way. For example, some uh, exception happened in application B and uh, uh, she didn't perform as uh, it's supposed to. Uh, so uh, how uh, can application A know if uh, everything was okay with the application B? Well, application A can analyze the return value of the application B. Uh, how to do it? Well, let's say that we have this console application here. Okay, and now I'm going to create another application. And it is going to be a simple VCL forms application. Okay, and uh, I'm going to save it in the same location where I saved the previous application. Okay. And now make sure that both exa files are in the same folder. Okay, so what I have here is this console app. Okay, and I have also here this VCL app. And what I'm going to do now is that my VCL app uh, uh, calls this console application and uh, gets its uh, return value. So I'm going to place a button, and in here. I will place this code. Okay, so uh, what this uh, code does, it uh, creates a process and uh, waits until that uh, process is uh, completed. Uh, it waits infinite, okay? And once that process is completed, it will get his exit code and it will show it to us. So let's see. Okay, so now uh, this application uh, called this application and as you can see this application is frozen. It is actually waiting for this application to be completed. Uh, to avoid being frozen you can always uh, use threads. So I will uh, input something here, for example number 7. And what happens, uh, this VCL app will he is waited until this uh, console application is done and he got it its exit code which is number seven okay and uh, i can place anything here okay so this is what uh, our console application did it simply returned the value that we uh, placed here and uh, well we showed it in here. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope that you find this interesting because uh, this uh, can be really useful and uh, for many people, especially beginners, that uh, simply write here return uh, zero without any uh, understanding. I hope that you now understand why uh, this is so useful and why you should always avoid something like this. 
well that's it uh, if you have any comments uh, or questions please be free to ask and uh, thank you for watching goodbye